Just Words, just came out at the beginning of February, and um, I always feel that uh, when it comes to breakups, somebody always knows first uh, when it's over, and um, it's either a good thing or a bad thing to get there first, but this, uh, this is about getting there first, this is called Hearts Fade. Thank you. 
Well, I'm part of a, uh, I'm part of a duo uh, called The Linz, which is myself and uh, Lynn Miles. And we have a record that we put out uh, two years ago. And um, I'm going to play a song off that record called Blame It on the Devil. And uh, when I, was, I, I came up with the idea for this song. I was, uh, I was watching a documentary, it was a music documentary, um, about a certain kind of blues guitar playing. Um, that uh, it's, it's, it's sort of in these remote areas down in the United States where these guys play these altered tunings. And uh, it's, not, it's not widely played in terms of a style. And so this guy was doing these documentaries with all these older guys to capture what they were doing before they, before they died, basically. And, um, and there was this one guy who was an incredible character. And uh, he was talking to the documentary guy, and he says, uh, you know, people like to blame other people for their problems. Uh, he says, well, you know, they like to blame, they like to blame alcohol, they like to blame a lot of other things instead of taking responsibility. He said, well, I got it down through the science. I just blame the devil. <laughs> and I just, it was one of those moments as a songwriter that uh, I just, my head popped up, and I'm like, oh my God, what a great idea for a song. And so I stole, I stole the line. And, uh, and then I brought this to the project, uh, to the Linz project, and it's called Blame It on the Devil. years ago and um, in order to get ready to go to France I decided I was going to learn uh, a song and sing it in French 
So I, I found uh, probably one of the most famous uh, songs uh, by Jacques Brel, which is called Nimakit Pa, Please Don't Leave Me. And uh, in this song, he, the, he sings, Laisse-moi devenir l'ombre de ton ombre. Let me be the shadow of your shadow. So in other words, please don't leave me. I would settle to be the shadow of your shadow just to be near you. And uh, anyways, I thought this was such a great line. Oh my gosh, you know, so romantic. And then I read an interview where he said uh, it, the song actually was not a love song. And it was about how uh, uh, men are manipulated by women into doing, you know, their bidding or whatever. Anyways, it was very cynical. And I thought, wow, that's harsh. And so I ended up uh, writing the response to this song about the dangers of falling in love with a poet. This is called uh, True Blue Moon. Sometimes I think when we come out the other side, uh, we really, really, really appreciate the good things. So, again, this is.
that you can have courage without being afraid. Sometimes to stay, well, first you gotta leave and you live with faith. Well, first you gotta believe you can. Awkward, awkward moment. <laughs> Dropped my cable. I'm gonna play a song called Clean Slate now. And I play, I play this one with two cables, which is why I didn't go chasing after that one. And this is about getting along. This one this is just about getting along with our neighbors.
find uh, for myself, uh, songwriting has been, um, it's really been a blessing for me uh, because no matter what I'm, when I'm, no matter what I'm going through uh, in my life, I always have somewhere to put uh, the emotions and the feelings that I, I have. Sometimes they're good and, and sometimes they're not. But I always have somewhere that I can put them. I can put them in a song. And uh, this song's called Just For Now. And it was very much written in a time when I, I needed uh, the world to be quieter than it was. And so uh, sort of, this is my version of deep breathing. Just a minute more as I try to catch my breath. I know I can't stay here. It's been that kind of year. I'm too tired. Ain't this mess? Out on here, the rain, sun clouds on the same. Toss the day with all the rest. Just for now.
Well, just in case you're thinking I never might have, I've never maybe written a love song up to this point. Um, I have actually written one love song, and um, I think it was last summer I was I was uh, in my backyard at night and I was looking up at the stars. And at that moment in time, uh, you know, I've traveled all over the world and uh, I've met a lot of people. And so I was uh, at that moment in time I looked up at I looked up at the stars above me, and I thought to myself, I wonder how many people that I know are currently looking up the same sky that I'm looking at, and are seeing the same stars that I'm looking at. And uh, I, I started out writing, writing a poem about it, and, uh, and I, couldn't, I couldn't shake the thought. I just I couldn't, couldn't get rid of the idea in my head, and so I ended up turning it into a song as well. This is called Such a Random Thing. It's about the, the randomness of how people come into our lives sometimes. <laughs> Six or seven, I had a little dog. He liked to ride the ponies, always seemed a little odd. When I was nine or ten, I flew up to the moon. I landed on the dark side, it was there that I found you. record that I just put out, Just Words, and uh, I only had five weeks to write for the entire album. I only had two songs when I first started writing, so I needed a lot of songs. And um, I was very stuck. I had writer's block. And uh, so I went to my bookshelf, and um, I started reading uh, a couple of books, uh, Ernest Hemingway books, actually. And um, it got me thinking, as I was reading through these books, it got me thinking about Ernest Hemingway. And then I started imagining uh, what it would be like, you know, to be in a relationship with Ernest Hemingway. And, and I wondered then if he ever had his heart broken by anybody. And, uh, you know, was, did, he ever, did he ever get dumped by anybody? And uh, that's pretty much all I needed to, uh, to get going on this song. So it's just a little bit about Ernest Hemingway and it's a little bit about me. It's called Hemingway's Songbird. Fresh 
martini, crumpled papers, or cigarette. Spend my days pouring my heart to the pages. Tears of lost love, nature regret. I still wear the locket you gave me for my birthday. Well, I kept it though I'm really not sure why. Some days I swear I hear singing through it to me. River words I drink from when I'm dry. So many reasons not to stay, so many chances to walk away. Nothing sadder than nothing not to say. Guess I can't hold it out, but you might change you and I'll break my heart anyway. Yeah, yeah. Guess what you do. Guess I can't hold it out, but it might change you and I'm breaking my heart anyway. And yeah, you, yeah. guess it's what you do. process of learning one when I got the news that I had been kicked out of this band. <laughs> so about a month, a month after that, uh, I wrote my first murder ballad, coincidentally, and, uh, and I just kept writing them after that, and uh, I couldn't stop, so much so that um, I've, been, I've, I've become known as a, as a bit of a serial murder ballad writer, and uh, I have an entire record of murder ballads called Seven Deadly Spins. And I, uh, I, was, I was going into the studio to record this record, and it was Saturday, and I was going to the studio to start recording on Monday, but I only had six songs. And of course, the title of the record is Seven Deadly Spins, so I needed one more song. So I started reading up about the Cecil Hotel in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And uh, in the last year of its operation, apparently there were 1,700 phone calls to police. It also turns out that there is a Cecil Hotel in Edmonton, Alberta, there's a Cecil Hotel in Vancouver, back British Columbia, and there's even one in Los Angeles, California. And every one of these hotels is fairly shady and sketchy. So uh, that, that's pretty much all I needed to start imagining what it would be like to have to live in a place like the Cecil Hotel. And this guy's story just kind of jumped into my head. Cecil Hotel 
Jockeys, horns, and vagabonds, if we must climb tight. If walls could scream, they would. And stories, they tell. Before I go to sleep at night, the devil don't find me dead. Say, Christopher, around my neck, if I'm near my head. I get down on my knees, pray the devil don't find me dead. Where I sleep with one eye open and a shotgun by my bed. I sleep with one eye open and a shotgun. Till they 
mom used to say to me all the time, Lynn, you gotta learn to take high ground. So I would have a temper, especially as a kid, little kid. I, I had a terrible temper and uh, I would just, I wanna get even all the time. And my mom would say, listen, you just, you gotta take the higher ground. You gotta take the higher ground. So uh, I don't know if as an adult, I've gotten any better at actually taking the higher ground, but uh, I, I have uh, written a song about it. There's just clouds behind. There's just clouds behind. Uh, or there's just clouds out there, period. And, but there's still a sun behind those clouds. Uh, but sometimes it doesn't feel like it. Sometimes like all we got is uh, all we got is clouds. But you know those winds of change they're gonna come, and uh, eventually the clouds always do blow away. And um, and then we see the sunshine again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish everything off today uh, with this song. This too shall pass. Hope for better times. <laughs> <laughs> 